While Elon Musk continues keeping quiet about important details, the huge production sites across Giga Texas, Nevada, the Berlin factory, and the Shanghai facility are already shifting their assembly lines for a vehicle that challenges almost everything people believed about low-cost electric transport. The car that many people are calling the Model 2, expected to launch at the unheard of price of $11,799, might completely reshape the electric vehicle world. But the story is much deeper than just a low price. There is something happening behind the scenes that Tesla is choosing not to talk about, at least not yet. Why is the company staying silent for such a long time? And how is Tesla doing something that other automakers said was almost impossible, creating a real electric car at a price that could make the largest car companies shake with fear? In this long breakdown, we will slowly walk through the manufacturing timeline that Tesla is not openly discussing. We will explore the hidden structure inside the vehicle that makes the whole thing possible and look at why Tesla's target market plan is not as clear as people might believe. If you care more about real information than hype, subscribe to Device Dimension and join over 2,000 people who enjoy looking beyond normal headlines. Now let us go step by step and understand how everything fits together. One of the first major questions is how Tesla is hiding the real manufacturing timeline from buyers. The production approach for the Model 2 shows a major change from Tesla's older methods, and the proof is right in the patent documents. Papers filed in September 2024 describe what Tesla calls the unboxed assembly structure. But Tesla is not promoting this loudly for one simple reason. This method removes about 49% of the normal building steps by allowing several sections of the car to be built at the same time and then connected near the end. This is not a normal car assembly process. Traditional car factories move a vehicle slowly across hundreds of different stations, usually between 300 and 400 small steps. Tesla's new documentation for the Model 2 shows they shrink this whole thing to around 160 steps by using parallel building methods. In real terms, this cuts the production time needed to build one car from the normal 20 to 25 hours down to roughly 10 hours. This is a dramatic change that completely alters what is possible in a car factory. If we look deeper into the supplier network data that Tesla is not mentioning publicly, we see even more surprising information. Import and export paperwork filed with Customs shows that the Model 2 uses a structural battery pack that doubles as the floor of the car, completely removing the need for a separate chassis. This is not the same technology used in the Model Y's structural pack. Engineers who reviewed the filings explain that the Model 2 uses a CELTA pack system with no modules, cutting around 370 parts compared to the Model 3. The savings here are massive, estimated between $1,200 and $1,800 for every single vehicle. Yet Elon Musk has never given a public explanation of this new setup. Tesla's worldwide factory plan also shows something very different from the public statements about keeping production local. Elon Musk publicly said that Giga Texas would be the main factory producing the Model 2, but shipping records and equipment purchase papers show that similar machines and tools were being installed in the Shanghai and Berlin factories at the exact same time. These shipments happened between October 2024 and January 2025, so Tesla is not planning a slow rollout. Instead, the company is preparing for production on several continents right from day one. For people living in Texas, Florida, California, or New York, this changes the expected delivery timeline completely. Cars for Texas are expected from Giga Texas, of course, but cars for the East Coast might actually come from Europe to reduce shipping costs. This plan shows Tesla is trying to smooth out global demand from the very beginning prevent price swings between markets, make deliveries faster, 
and stop competitors from taking advantage of regional supply gaps. The paint shop setup also tells a hidden story. Environmental permit records filed in Travis County, Texas for the Giga Mexico plant mention a paint process that uses a single layer coating described as in-mold coating. This method is extremely advanced, but it comes with one main issue. Color choices at launch will be limited, possibly only white, black, and silver, maybe one more at best. Tesla has not announced this openly, but this will affect customers who expect a wide range of colors. If you think Tesla's worldwide production plan will really speed up deliveries in your state, comment 2026 below and tell us which location you think will ramp up faster, Texas, Shanghai, or Berlin. It will be interesting to see where people lean. Understanding these factory plans leads us naturally to the component costs that make an $11,799 price possible. The battery technology is the biggest hidden innovation in the Model 2, and the details are very impressive. While Tesla usually talks about lithium iron phosphate batteries, formal regulatory documents reveal something more advanced. The Model 2 uses what these documents call an LFP-enhanced formula, with manganese added in a special ratio that is not part of normal LFP cells. This version, made in partnership with CTL, gives about 15% higher energy density while still keeping the lower cost advantage of LFP. The numbers are very exact because they come from supplier agreements. CATL is making 35 gigawatt hours of these cells each year for a vehicle that matches the size of the Model 2. That amount can power around 525,000 cars if each uses a 66 kilowatt hour battery. But Tesla publicly hints at a smaller 53 to 60 kilowatt hour pack. This difference suggests either the real range will be higher or Tesla is including extra reserve capacity inside the pack that they are not discussing. Behind the scenes, Tesla is also testing something truly groundbreaking, the aluminum ion hybrid battery. According to documents reviewed, the energy division at Tesla has been running field tests of a special aluminum lithium cell that replaces some of the graphite in the anode with aluminum clusters. These cells have reached around 310 watt-hours per kilogram at the Giga Texas pilot line, which is about 28% higher than current LFP cells planned for the Model 2. The biggest advantage is fast charging. These prototype cells achieve 10% to 80% charge in about 12 minutes when using a 350 kilowatt charger because aluminum transfers electrons extremely well. But this battery is not ready for mass production. It has issues with the separator wearing out after around 1,000 cycles, equal to roughly 300,000 miles. Tesla's long-term plan is to start mass production in late 2026 once the solid electrolyte coating can fully protect the aluminum surface. If successful, this could cut battery material costs by 22% and reduce reliance on graphite imports, which is a huge advantage for North American factories. The new motor design also hides a big shift. Tesla removed permanent magnets, completely based on rare earth import data. Internal engineering documents describe the motor as an externally excited synchronous reluctance motor with no rare earths. Tesla engineers quietly published academic papers on this technology in late 2024, but Tesla marketing never mentioned it. This motor cuts between $400 and $600 per vehicle in material costs, while still giving around 90 to 95% of the efficiency of permanent magnet motors. For buyers worried about range, this is an important trade-off that Tesla has not openly talked about. Interior materials also bring new cost changes. Import paperwork for synthetic materials shows Tesla using something called engineered polymer textile instead of the normal vegan leather or fabric used in other Tesla models. This material, supplied from Germany, costs around 40% less than the vegan leather in the Model 3, and it still meets durability standards. 
but it will feel different to customers used to more premium interiors. Tesla has not mentioned this difference in its promotional material. The computer system inside the Model 2 goes through a huge simplification as well. Internal electronic filings show that the Model 2 uses a single computer board that controls the infotainment, driver assistance, and basic vehicle functions all in one place. This change reduces wiring complexity by around 60% and cuts electronic costs by $300 to $450. But there is a trade-off, less room for future upgrades. The Model 2 may not support the same level of autonomous driving improvements that the more expensive models can receive over time. Tesla also redesigned the thermal management system. Patent documents describe a single cooling loop for the battery, motor, and cabin, managed by electronic valves instead of separate systems. This reduces cost and weight, but could create issues in very hot temperatures above 105 degrees Fahrenheit or extremely cold temperatures below minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Tesla's range estimates do not include the exact temperature-related losses that might appear in these extreme conditions. So if you plan to use the Model 2 in very hot or very cold places and worry about this cooling system, comment, I do to see how many people it affects. All these technical choices lead us to the question of who Tesla is really building this car for. Regulatory documents classify the Model 2 as a subcompact vehicle with a wheelbase under 104 inches, a total length under 170 inches, and a width under 68 inches. This is smaller than the Model 3 in every way. Tesla markets it as a compact family car, but the truth is that its size is more like a Mazda 3 or a Honda Civic, not larger vehicles like an Accord or Camry. The five-seat setup also has limits. The rear legroom listed in the safety filings is around 33 inches, which is less than the Model 3's 35.2 inches and also less than a Toyota Corolla. Cargo space in Europe's regulatory paperwork is listed at 11.5 cubic feet, much smaller than the 15 cubic feet in the Model 3. For families in California, Texas, Florida, or New York who carry children or groceries or equipment, this will matter. Tesla has not highlighted these space limitations in public events. Charging speed also differs. The Model 2 uses the North American charging standard port, but internal power electronics documents show the car can charge at a maximum of only 170 kilowatts, not 250 kilowatts like the Model 3. This will add around 8 to 12 minutes to fast charging stops. For people who frequently travel long distances in states like Texas or Florida, this affects travel planning. Tesla has not openly discussed this slowdown. Tesla's normal strategy of offering many options is also changing. Internal supplier documents show that the Model 2 will launch with almost no customization options, no performance version, no extended range model, no premium interior. You will only choose the color. This is similar to the strategy used by the iPhone SE, one product for everyone. Buyers who expect lots of choices may feel surprised. The warranty details also show differences. The Model 2 battery warranty is 8 years or 100,000 miles, but guarantees only 70% capacity. The Model 3 standard range gives 70% over 120,000 miles. Insurance analysts expect the Model 2 might cost more to insure because the structural battery pack makes repairs more expensive. Damage to the underside may require replacing the whole pack instead of repairing a part. Early estimates show premiums could be 12 to 18% higher than gas cars in the same price range. Elon Musk's choice not to discuss these details is not deception. It is a communication strategy focused on big headlines rather than small engineering trade-offs. But for serious buyers, knowing these hidden realities is important. Share in the comments 
which hidden detail surprised you most, and I will see you in the next deep dive from Device Dimension, where we always look past the headlines to understand what is really happening in the electric vehicle world.